And so if you just join us, you're tuned to Today with John and Helen on Plus TV Africa. And our focus this week is on an area most of us grapple with. I, for one, I, I really, really have an issue with this. Now, it's wellness on a budget. Remember that wellness is the act of practicing healthy habits on a daily basis, on a daily basis to attain better physical and mental health outcomes. And so... So that instead of surviving, we can say that we're thriving and we're enjoying life to its fullest, you know. And that's our wish for you because that's our wish for ourselves too, John. Yeah, of course, because everyone desires an all-round healthy life. Unfortunately, not many achieve that. Yeah. Exactly the reason for this conversation today. But Helen, may I briefly divert your attention wow. to some activities within the week which somehow... Influenced, threatened, <laughs> my personal state of wellness. Okay. Yeah. I think I've got into that place where really, really none of the activities or happenings in mm. this part of the world, yeah. you know, really throws me off balance. You know, when you get to that place that you can expect just anything to happen. Mm. Mm. Well, I say that because uh, a few of my friends were traveling out of Lagos a couple of days ago and uh, the uh, Lagos Ibadu Expressway was blocked. By our nuns, students, the student association, yes, yeah. you know, protesting, mm. you know, the fact that they've been home for up to mm. seven months mm. now. Mm. Yes, a lot of people support them. We have quite a number of people who said, Oh, it's been, you know, an overkill, yeah. So, you know, so yeah, I think it's just getting to that point where as many people as need to be involved in this, so we can. You know, we can get out of this um, trouble. Mm. Um, the students are the ones who are directly affected. Yes. And I am so glad. You know, there's been earlier in the week, government said no more discussion, you know, and sued ASU. All right. Then later on, um, there's another meeting. And by yesterday or two days ago, Falana had come out to say specifically after the ruling of that case, on the 20th of this month, that um, the, the thing will be um, resolved. So we hope that it will be resolved so that our students can go back to school. It is about time that they went back to school. You know, someone was saying yesterday that enough is enough. And in so many areas, really, John, enough is enough. Enough is really enough. No, mm. I mean, I, I, I think we've talked about this virtually every mm. week. Yes, we on have. This program. Seven months, that's are, almost a year. We are, yeah. Know, we're, we're about, we've had it up to here. Okay, and yeah. something that gave me a lot of joy, uh, was it yesterday or two days ago, was that um, River State Government at the moment signing three bills, and one of them is recognizing that whether you're female or you're male, children yeah, of right. your family you are entitled to every right especially in, property and land inheritance inheritance yes i read that news and it was quite i uh, didn't know that something like that existed up till now in in any part of the uh, world in the 21st yeah, talk century talk about talk about how deeply rooted some of our traditions wow. are traditions that were made over 500 years ago mm. and they're still being applied to us and i think we, sh we should extend it to other aspects of our culture tradition so, so that at so least true. People would, uh, especially women, mm, you know, who yeah, suffer this, yeah, yeah. you know, uh, I mean, will be free. The origin anyway, is that you've gotten married and you're no longer part of that family, <laughs> you know, but that doesn't f suffice anymore. And lastly, mm. lastly, I'm asking myself a question. Um, a Nigerian who was part of the officiating ministers at the Queen's Barrier, he's been celebrated all over. And I'm wondering, you know, what is, what is it about? Yeah, of course. That the Nigeria, you know, Nigerian yes. minister in the UK mm -hmm. is part of the team, you know? Yeah, it's a recognition. It's recognition. It's recognition. It depends okay. on what side of the fence okay. you're standing. Uh, Anyhow, so it's congratulations we always to us. say, as we say, Nigeria must survive. One man at a time, yeah. our values must change for the better. And if you just joined the show, you've made it, you've made a very good decision. Yeah. Stay with us and you'll find out how. The focus right now is wellness on a budget. Later on, Ferran Shonuga will beam the searchlight on building the child's self-esteem with Dr. Eniola Olajobi. Right now, let's meet our first guest. Okay. <laughs> our first guest is a voice for all things related to health, to fitness, food, 
and nutrition. Our guests over the past seven years has managed individuals as well as corporate teams who struggle daily with obesity, with high blood pressure, with high cholesterol and diabetes, amongst other diseases, which has, with his wealth of knowledge and vast experience. Francis Ojile is Chief Executive Officer, MD, Francis Kitchenet, and is, is a certified holistic naturalist consultant. He's skilled in nutrition counseling, lifestyle management, wellness, nutrition education, food medicine for terminal illnesses, and so, 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 so much more. <laughs> All of that for just one All of that for just one young man. <laughs> anyway, suffice to say that our guest is a member of the Nutrition Society of Nigeria. He's a Rotarian, just like me. I know. <laughs> I knew that was coming. And uh, Food for Life Alliance uh, UK. It is a huge pleasure to learn from the three-time award winner, Francis Ojile. You are welcome to today with John and Helen. Francis? Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank wow. you. And um, that name, that name rang a bell when I saw it, you know. So I'm so happy. You have to talk to me about Okoho and Pounded Yam today. All right. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> I'm particularly thrilled <clears throat> knowing you will help us correct some notions pertaining to wellness on the show today. Coffee I will take the first shot. Permit okay. me, John. Ladies, Ladies first. Always first. After yeah. gentlemen. After gentlemen. Okay. <laughs> So, so let's just dig in. Um, wellness, no doubt, Francis, gets beyond good nutrition. What would a full wellness package look like? Okay. Is it all about food? Okay. Oh, very good question. So when it comes to wellness, wellness is multidimensional. So it's, you just have to basically look into the emotional part of one's life, mm. spiritual, mental, mm. you know, this uh, physical and also... Um, the general parts which has to do with your health. Mm. Mm. So, and basically a lot of people feel wellness just has to do with you, you know, eating or just going to the gym. Yeah. So it's not. Okay. So there's all what they call self-discipline. So self-discipline has what we call the four tenets mm. of life, mm. which is love is medicine, mm. food is medicine, yeah, exercise is medicine. Then the last one is... Um, love is medicine. Food, food is, medicine. is medicine. Sleep is medicine. Sleep yeah. is medicine. Then exercise is medicine. I'll, I'll try and remember Love, that. Hmm. Love, food, food mm. sleep, sleep, and, and exercise. exercise. Wow. Wow. Okay. I'll, now, note, so I'll, note, I'll note that so that <laughs> I can take it off you know, every day as I go along. Yeah. <laughs> all so, right. So, so basically that will help us with all our questions. And on a daily basis, you need yes. to check this. It's, 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 a check, it's a check. It's, yeah. it's, you have to checklist it. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Checklist okay. and checkmate. Okay. Right. Now, um, good nutrition has a lot to do with affordability. True. Mm. Okay. Now, and uh, it may therefore be assumed to be exclusively for the rich. Mm. How true is this? Good nutrition, affordable. Okay. okay, fantastic. The truth is, those who are actually in the um, the low, the average people, mm. or should we call them the low class people? Yeah. Permit me not to say the poor. Mm. Actually, have more benefit to green, to vegetables and fruits, basically because a lot of them feel. Um, <clears throat> looking at the rich man using the microwave, for example, mm -hmm. you know, used to air conditioning, living in an airtight, living, eating food from can and all that is a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Eating food from chashets, you know, mm -hmm. bags and all that, you know, always all our food are sealed up. So what it is, mostly is that our food needs to breathe. Okay. Yeah. So it's not, it's not a fact that the rich people are the ones who... The rich people are the ones who are prone to those lifestyles. So more than actually the, yeah, <laughs> but the problem now is reverse the case is that those people, the middle middle class or mm. the average class, look forward to those. It's a perception. So thing. they feel this is the right way. So the reverse mentality yeah. is actually the issue. So the rich now get to know that, oh, I have the money. I need to take care of myself. So yeah. let me get France Kitchen here to come and take care of my meals or train my chef. Yeah. But the poor person wants to eat sachet food mm. yeah mm. microwave food mm. cold food frozen chicken all those stuffs everything. just like what they see when the rich people eat but they fall ill 
and go back and say there's somebody from the village, but the person that is rich <laughs> knows that, oh, I think it's my lifestyle. I need to go and check my, myself That's and right. do medical checks and um, basically watch what I eat and engage my physical and therapy. You know, I've always said that it's cheaper to eat well. I've always believed it, True. you know, but then practicing it is another thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so we have the knowledge, but how much of us, how many of us put the knowledge, you know, to practice? Yeah. Um, so Francis, we hear that planning a balanced diet, mm. they're always talking about balanced diet, mm. um, balanced meal is key to good nutrition. True. What's the trick? Okay. Should that even be a trick? Life is nature, you know, we're naturally endowed. Yeah, mm -hmm. everything we need literally around us, but we as human, we start pushing those things and start bringing man made things. So, we are eating man made food, not God giving food. Mm -hmm. So, you see, so basically, if you get to the market, the local market, not the design market or the package market, the local market, yeah, so you get free, you get fresh things, you find everything you need. Yes, but you. now they say the environment is dirty, is this, is that, and the, all that, but the truth is. Gems and death can only be on fresh things. The moment you wash them properly, yeah, which is what we call the prepping, they literally go goes away. But now, guess what? The one we go to, to get from the package place are actually preserved to yes, keep the chef life. So preservatives. So and those preservatives yeah. are cancerous because what they use are chemicals that our body cannot understand. Wow. So so the trick, I said, there's no trick. It's just making a lifestyle by doing or knowing what you need to do, Going how to, to go the about them. Place. So, and having a balanced meal is how you, where you purchase those vegetables and fruits because, of course, we are talking about natural things now, yeah. So, how you purchase them, then bring them home. How you take your time to watch the way we take our time, patiently study to pass our exam so that we can get good certificates. Mm. That's how we need to be detailed with our meals because if you don't take your food as medicine now, mm. trust me. You take you your take medicine your as medicine food, as just food. like Steve Jobs ever said. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I heard that some time okay. back. It made a lot of sense, yes. really. Yes. It made a lot of sense. Now, um, you see, it's hard for us to ignore nutrition when we're talking about wellness. Yeah, yeah of course, today's program is on wellness. Mm. But I just want to sneak in one little question here. Okay. When you look at your plate, mm. right, you serve your plate of food. What, as a nutritionist, what should one expect? And then how do you fit it into your pocket? Okay. Very good question. So, um, basically, if you, there's, all, there's what we call charge your plate or power your plate. Mm. Power. So power your plate or charge your plate. Yeah. So, how do you charge your plate? How do you charge uh, your rhino sauce? Uh, what makes a, a lion get charged mm -hmm. is the amount of probably he's been hungry and he needs to go to get something done and take care of himself, right? To so, energize. charging your plate is like fueling your body. Yeah. Food is what we eat when we are hungry, but nutrition is what our body requires. Mm. So, uh. now, talking about plates, what are we really eating? Mm -hmm. Now, the truth is, for every meal we should have, we just basically have to make it balanced. Where we have our protein, our carbohydrates, yeah? Mm -hmm. We have our healthy fats, mm -hmm. we have our fiber, we have our veggies mm -hmm. and fruits, yeah? Basically, just to make sure that they break down according in portions. And now, trust me, if you are to eat a meal that is highly nutritionally, nutritionally dense, mm -hmm. you just need to eat little and you're okay. That's why you see that our mom or our grandmothers can relate to this, that when they cook in the kitchen and the food is getting into their nose, they just get that yeah, feel of not getting... So we eat with our nose. That's why you could see that people on ICU, intensive care unit, they don't need to pass food through their mouth, but months, yeah. month, day in, day out, they are alive. So what are they wow. passing through them? Vitamins and minerals. So okay. that's what the body needs. So it doesn't even matter if it comes through your mouth. Mm. So, but the fact that we are okay and we are eating our food, we need to make sure that that food is properly charged because it's the fuel. So it means the purity in that food is what makes that food to charge your body. Wow. And takes care of your body. It's so that's so much the substance. So. It's not about the how purity. How huge. Hmm. It now, is, it's not the size. So, sorry to. But the quality. But, you know, but you've talked about a protein, that, that, that. Each of these things comes with a price tag. Okay. So, talking how about do price. I afford okay. all this? So, now affordability is just something in the mind, sir. That's the yeah. truth. Because each time there's an increment or scarcity or that. 
or COVID and post-COVID, people still one way or another survive, yes? So we have options. You don't, if you know you cut your coat according to your size, it doesn't mean it, 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 somebody that is average knows that, okay, you can easily afford to get cucumber or vegetables, mm. all those are local vegetables, pumpkin leaves and all that, Carrots. you know, carrot and all that. Mm. It's affordable. But the truth is, they rather just feed their tummy. Like, they want to get filled. And the truth is, when you eat most of all this world junk food, you get hungry the more because why? Your cravings will increase. Yeah, you're expanding the space. And you're also increasing your, your, your cravings. But if you eat food, the meals that are highly nutritional and dense, you just eat little. Your body takes everything. When you go in the morning, your body was is so free. Mm. No, you see, mm. Francis. <laughs> sorry, but tell this to the tell this to the uh, site the worker. Driver. Okay. The, uh, yeah. the whatever building. Your car riders, uh, people who are really. Uh -huh. Because in the morning, yes, he was. It is ignorance, John. He will thank. Uh, it's not that that body he, needs it. But you see. It gives him strength. Yes. He doesn't even need beef, meat, or mm. whatever. Just give me ten bar. Yeah, Francis, because what they say, you know, following up with John's uh, question or point of view is that let me just eat one meal that mm. will keep me going for as long as possible. Okay. But that's probably like killing themselves. So the thing is, um, in this side of the world, or is even becoming a norm, is why is diabetes, you know, becoming incre mm. increasing in, our, in yeah. the society now? It's mm. basically most of everything we take, it's actually sugar base. Mm. Mm. Yeah? And our body can't even understand. What does the pancreas do? The pancreas help to give the body the good insulin and take out the bad insulin, yeah? But when this thing right. becomes... So okay. much of it okay. it's become an issue. We will take we will take a break about now. Okay. Um, when we get back, you know, because you, you started by saying um, wellness constitutes of love, yeah. um, exercises, yeah. um, sleep. food, sleep. Yes. All right. So when we come back, we'll look at especially love. Okay. The place it plays in, you know, ensuring that we're well. Yeah. Totally. Okay. Thank you. Okay. It's today with John and Helen. We'll take a quick break and our guest is still here. So join us when we return. Yeah, thanks for being there. And we're having a healthy conversation, if you may, about <laughs> wellness on a budget. The program is today with John and Helen. Francis Ojile is our guest. And let's continue from where we left off before the break. Okay. So we, we were Helen, we were talking about I was talking about wellness in perspective when you look at love, when you look at sleep, besides the food that goes into us. How does it play out? What are the things that we must particular take particular attention, you know, to in terms of right steps for planning our awareness routine as it involves these two areas? Okay, so we're talking about love, love, and yeah, sleep. Was, sleep. Fantastic. Um, basically, um, if you look at love, love. See, we just have to show gratitude. Living, it's just something we have to be gratitude to. In an because environment such as ours. Yes. Now, the truth is, if we can incorporate the idea of taking control of whatever it is in our environment, to try as much as possible to find peace with ourselves, with self healing. Now, what it means that self worth. Loving yourself, mm. just show kindly because you need to see the way out of the cause of the toxic things that happen within our environment, people react for little, just little provocation, they just flare. But if you have had that, that feel, you know, you have what it is for you to be compassionate, for you to know that I have that self worth, I love myself. I love myself. I don't, I see every other person like myself, mm. regardless what happened, I should be very okay. So, what make, what make me sane is my actions to on. The, little or basically would you, something you least expect because people trigger over things that you sometimes you're like wow mm. but you'll be wondering but it's out of the lifestyle yeah. too because lifestyle brings about what the love for example somebody that didn't sleep well because literally you're meant to sleep like seven to eight hours mm. every night yes is it night or plus the yes, day yes, join so, to it no no um, <laughs> like you start from let's say from 10 yes. or from 9 or let's say from 10 mm. You know, and you wake up from maybe four five. or five. But we're looking at the environment where we are. Mm. Now, the problem is that for every problem we have, you are making money for somebody else. So guess what? You are working for an, an organization and you just have to wake up 
every early morning five to, to 5 a.m., 4 a.m. Mm. You get to work, you're already stressed because of traffic. Yeah. You get back you get back home at, at night, midnight. you're exhausted. So you can't really sleep. You are building insomnia because your body needs to rest. There's something we used to call it when it comes to um, presentation. When you, you are someone that presents a lot, you need to be very sensitive with your body. When your body can tell you, hey, man, relax. Take it easy. Like okay. myself, when you get to 5 mm. p.m. in the evening, I literally you can ask me some questions. I won't be able to answer you because that moment, my brain is shutting down. down. So mm. I just want to have fun. So unwind is make it makes sense to just be a, around, share, or forget about the workload. So love yourself, <laughs> get enough sleep, respect mm. yourself. Because that will mm. help you mm. to feel good. Because when you sleep well, you feel happy. You feel happy. Definitely, yeah. you feel. You feel happy. like you feel refreshed. I, when you don't sleep well, you get yeah, you have that. This morning, I woke up well rested because mm. I went to bed early mm. yesterday. Okay. And Helen didn't Did call have me. Any? Helen, <laughs> did, Helen didn't call me at eleven. Oh, but so you didn't you tell the you didn't say the good thing I did. See you now. Yeah, we're That's getting, another aspect. We're, we're always that. focusing on the bad things, <laughs> not the plenty good ones. Okay, now, mm. now, now Francis, yes. tell me something. Yeah. Um, most times, yes. I wouldn't want to eat for just the sake of eating. Okay. I want to enjoy mm. my meal. True. And taste okay? is it? Yeah. Now, any attempt to pick all those things you talked about, a little bit of protein, a little bit of that. It makes the meal so uninteresting, bland. Okay. You know? Yeah. So how do we still make our meals interesting and at the same time? The pocket. Fit it into our pockets. Okay, very, very, very good question. So mm. see, this, the thing is, when you said the meal become bland, I don't bland, get it. Uninteresting. So, uninteresting. Yes. so now, the thing is, we eat they for... tell me I'm we, eating too much We eat beef, for so. three reasons, yeah? Okay. One for okay. taste board. Mm. One for... Um, uh -huh. We eat with the eyes. Yes. Then we also look out for t taste board. Mm. Sorry, the medicinal value. Okay. Yeah. Energy, taste bud, and medicinal value. Okay. Mm. So we eat, our, we, eat, we eat with our eyes on, right? When we see the food, it needs to look good, mm -hmm. basically. So now the idea is, just, you just have to make your meals look healthy. But being healthy doesn't mean it has to look boring. So one of the things we do from fans Kitchenette is to make people understand that for every meal you prepare, literally, or somebody prepared for you, take your time and look at that meal and snap the picture. Before is you it, yes, well, if you are too hungry to start. <laughs> if you are too hungry, that means because you are not conscious. It become, <laughs> once you become once you become health conscious, you literally want to be detailed, even from the taste of what you are having. Are like you? like we, we train to we train people on how not to use processed condiments. We teach them how to do locally sourced condiment that you can use to cook and it's healthy. Okay, so you're saying <laughs> that if, if we go straight to nature. We have a we lot of likely them. to get, you know, yes, and we're likely to fulfill that. Yes, and taste, it's cheaper. Yes, mm, mm, mm. look, yeah, and feel. Or and feel, yes, mm. Mm. Okay. because what okay. you cook and how you prepare your food determine how you feel. Yes, okay. So, so the, a lot of people like John who don't know how to cook. John, okay. please don't, don't, don't react to that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, um, in the last two weeks, you yeah. know, we talked to nutrition and health and all of that and we know that organic food you know was the thing yeah. that the the the, the, guest. Um, the guests kept on talking about mm -hmm. that they're usually a better option for us how do we access them without breaking uh, the bank uh, again okay budget budget yes talking about budget a lean belly make you rich a lean belly make you smart so what it means is that the moment you don't have much in your system that you need to be bothered about. Mm. All those deep fried food, all those processed food we eat that are embedded in our body are the problem already. So, and we are still doing it. We've not changed. You know, some years ago, they were, they were actually encouraging a lot of people, you know, to have a small space in their premises yeah. and you to, know, to fruits to and to stuff. Yeah. And that's the organic one, right? Okay. Because how do we know the okay. food? When you go to the market and you're picking, yeah. how do you know the Which food one? that is organic and the one that is non-organic? Okay, so now the problem is we are always, when it comes to nutrition, people always look out for, they always want to look out for something not to even do it because people see nutrition as an option. 
People yeah. see packaged food as something that is more enticing in the yeah. face, the way it readily looks. available. So, but it's the fact to. we know that we know that there's fertilizer, we know that there are GMOs and all that, basically, right? So, uh, what are GMOs for? Genetic modified microorganisms, right? So yeah. That means they generated them, and most of them don't have seeds. You could know through that the lot of them looks big, you know, mm -hmm. than the normal kind of um, the fruits or vegetables. And then looking at the one with fertilizer, yes, they grow from the soil, mm. but they still have the nutritional value, but not as much as what we get in the, the 80s. Organic, yeah. But that doesn't mean you should not eat it. I have to just tell people, mm. because see, you have to start from somewhere. Yeah, yeah, you have to start from somewhere. Do you know that we still have natural, we still have a lot of organic food here in Nigeria? I'm telling you. See, all this cabbage, carrot that we don't use anymore, that we cut them with and trash, you can use it to tilt your soil and plant anything. It grows. Wow. Yes. I always tell people that we are so blessed in this, this country yes. that if you wash your plates after a meal, wash your plate and you throw the water in the corner of your compound, come back next week and you will find peppers growing there. Because the soil is okay. so okay. rich. Yes, it is. You know, so already we are even, we're blessed. Mm. So, the, so it's mm. still there. So how can we source this thing? Is We should try as much as possible to go back in the days of our forefathers or our parents and all that. Mm. The, their markets are still there. Yeah. They are still there. The so if you know that you cannot meet up with some, you, mm -hmm. you, you have to plan yourself. There are markets you can get things very cheaper. Even mm -hmm. here in Lagos, mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Okay. So just find your time. Just find time. Mm -hmm. Which I know we'll be talking in maybe subsequent questions that will be asked. Mm -hmm. How do we preserve our food and all that? Mm -hmm. So that I can also advise because maybe there we are can places. Go to that right away. Yeah, so how yeah. do we preserve do we our preserve? food? So now, if you, if you, instead of <laughs> wasting food, because yeah. when we say food, we're talking about perishables, right? Yes. We're not talking about the ones that are already canned or sealed, yeah. no, mm -hmm. fresh. So mm -hmm. you just have to plan yourself because they are perishables, they can easily die. Mm -hmm. And because you don't really have time. So what you need to do is prep them. So you're talking what? about yam, the potatoes, potatoes vegetables, yeah, vegetables, and all that. I bought some bananas a few days ago. So and planting. By this morning, I was looking. Ah, by the time they had I come gone back. to so right. What, so what you, what you, what you, right. basically what people need to do is you, they need a very calm temperature where it's not too hot, it's not too mm. cold. So the last base of the refrigerator. Okay. Okay. You you wrap them with a the newspaper. And okay. put them there. It okay. can keep. Okay. You don't just throw. Okay. You don't even need to put them not in a zip lock the zip also. Lock. Mm. Because it will, the ziplock, yeah. it's see tight. oxidation, you yeah. see, it's create it. Then the newspaper is still a bit friendly. The cold is still getting, so it's keeping the natural state. Yeah, or if you made your meals, like for example, you don't want it to go bad like that, and you don't want to put it in, because you don't need to, you don't need to ice them. Mm. Put them in the fridge, just get the lemon and squeeze a little bit of water on it. It still keep, the, it still preserve that food to stay fresh. I have wow. to, I think I have to enroll wow. in there. Wow. <laughs> and you can also wet them with water. Okay. If you don't, if you maybe your your refrigerator is not working, wear them with water. There are some you that know, has what, what stem. You put them you inside water. Is it will get still, you to come mm. and physically some demonstrate. Yes, some yeah. of this making these meals I'm talking about, we can literally do it within some minutes. I will make some meals without even using salt or maggi, and you'll be shocked that our audience will see. And you tell them how tasty it is. That's an mm. idea. But yeah. you use ogiri. You use the local. The truth is, our food has its own taste. I literally cook yam without water. There is water in yam, so I use the moist to cook the yam. Okay, but with the special kind of pot. No. The regular pot in the market. When you say regular, should we go into the meta, right? Yeah, yeah. Should we go into the meta? Because if you don't about... add water... I'll... Now, the pot, you know, the pot we use, yeah? So, once they are not natural, once the, they are porous meta, it mm. leaches out. Because yeah. once there's heat penetrating under them, it leaches out the metal mm -hmm. before connecting to whatever we put in. So, that's why we always ask for cookware that are very that do, they are okay. not toxins okay. cookware cookware okay. that don't react. Really okay. okay. So wish okay. we have some of them that we can advise that mm. okay mm. you can do this, you could do it. But the truth is there are techniques at which you can also use them to cook else they'll still get burnt. Okay, mm. so the essence of not using water is so that you can retain, retain. the moist almost it, everything it, that the moist what comes air to fryers the do. So for 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 air fryer mm. it's air fryer. Yeah? yeah. Mm. Air. So what is that thing that is frying? It brings in the air. What is what is bringing in the air? Mm, wow. What is the process of bringing in the air? <laughs> Let's not go much about it. Okay. That. So, <laughs> so, 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 we, so that what is bringing the air? Okay, I want to, I want to, I want to even divert a bit because I've heard several classifications of diets. Okay. You know, some people will say there is one that they call vegan. Mm. There is one, I know they say you're carnivorous. Sometimes they say you're omnivorous. What are all these different classifications? You know. 
Uh, I wish I could drink water like I'm fat. <laughs> I want to get to water we need for now. Fluid is very good. It's very good. It helps cleanse it's our clean, system. Yeah. So it's so it's always good for one to always drink water drink because water. as we're talking, yeah, yeah, yeah. we yeah. need to hold it and it's also help our breath. Yeah. Okay. I see. Because well, the I'm more the more you keep <laughs> the more you keep talking or the more you keep engaging, you need something, even just little. Yeah. Yeah. And you can even go as far as putting a little bit of lemon inside. So let's okay. go to the question. Okay, so tell me. Uh, okay, so vegan, uh, yes, carnivorous, 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 hallelujah diet, yeah, and what all are that. They, and, hallelujah diet. Are diets. they affordable? Okay, so now they are all fat diets, uh, ma'am. They are fat diets. Fat diets are the moment diets, like something you can do that is not realistic. It's not sustainable. They are called diets. So diet is basically tailored to someone who is basically having a clinical issues or having maybe Down syndrome, somebody that the immune system is down, you need to help that person get back there. So you have to program, you customize a meal plan mm. for them. A diet, that's diet. And when that person gets ill, yeah. when the person receives the healing, then you can tell if the person, what is the body, body metabolism of that person? Is it fast? So are you saying that... A vegan diet, for instance, can, sh shouldn't be sustained for long. A vegan diet, for yes. example, if you if you're just because people do vegan, mm. basically because um, it's kind of what out of is meat. it in the vegan, first place? Vegan is just like you're gonna it's no like animal vegeta. protein no and animal, all that, so you're yeah. just on veggies oh, okay. and all that. Veggies. So so now the truth is, you have to also understand your body because mm. how realistic is these things? Because, That's the word. Because How and the world where we are coming from now, we personally, mm. one of the major reasons we do all these things is because we've our body has gotten deteriorated. It has gotten to the point where we need solution, right? Okay. And most of the reason is because our system has been exposed to so much food that are indigested food. Food yeah. that is not digested over time because most of the food we eat, they are like we are we, they are laced with oil bag. So it takes time to for the tummy to digest those meals. So it's still stuck in the system. And then you detox now. So now how do you detox? Mm -hmm. So now the detox is going to be a lifestyle. If it's not a lifestyle, it's not sustainable. Vegan people, especially the ones that I know in the, the white and you know some Nigerians that do that, over time yeah. they understood their body. Because if you don't give your body some certain vitamins and minerals, you are also affecting the body in some areas. So really, the point you are making is that a vegan diet is not complete. Be it's not complete because you need to understand your body metabolism. You yeah. need to really know what you're looking for. Okay. And it's not preventive. It's curative. It's curative. It's when you have gotten to a point and you need help. Kind of. I, I, I wish it's treatment. I, I so it's treatment. People. So you mm. shouldn't even get to the point. It's like you going to your doctor mm. and the pharmacist now give you drugs after the doctor's prescribed. So now vegan, you come in to them because you already know that you are. So then now they're going to put you on the program. So what you can stay on the program, you get solutions. So that's why I call them fads diets. Mm. They're diet for to help you propel, project, to help you bring you out too. of proactiveness. <laughs> you need to come out of that reactive to become proactive. Okay. Instead of being in the middle. To disagree with okay, so 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 but please, we'll talk about that. <laughs> let's get to the nitty gritty of it. I'm sure so many people watching this is like, please tell us how we can budget for wellness. Okay. So let's look at the budgeting exercise itself. What's the best way to go about it? For wellness. For now. Wellness. wellness. How do we? So um, I think it's just, you just have to plan yourself. Lifestyle. Lifestyle. Mm. So if you can plan yourself um, and understand that this is part of your life, that you don't need to work so hard to end up start spending money, mm. you know, taking care of yourself. Mm. So why not balance it? Mm. So the total package for wellness, like we've, say, we've said previously, is yes. still the four tenants. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You see the four tenants. Yeah. Okay. What, what, what's the meal that we mustn't go near? You know, in this part of the world, we yeah. know that bread, if it's not only in here, mm. it's the whole world. Bread is one food that is taken by a lot of people. Yes. And we hear that bread is a killer. Mm. What is it, apart from bread, okay. that... Okay. When it comes to bread also, you can also still have healthy bread. You see? Yeah. So what it should be, what, I, what I'm just still saying that people need to understand is that you can still have a customized diet, a customized meal plan where somebody needs to meet with you, okay. understand what you need, what your family so needs. You. They work. So, you, so it's what you like eating, right? How do we make it a, How do we make okay. it more healthier? So it's becoming okay. a lifestyle. So everything is good. Yes. Okay. Depends on how you how, understand yes. it. So <laughs> how you were able to, because a lot of people will say no, because why? They already have clinical issues. Mm. It's yeah. quite different from somebody who is mm. okay, mm. but because you are obese doesn't mean you have cancer. Mm. I don't know if you understand. Mm. So you are, you are obese, what do you need to do? Detox. 
Change your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Are you physically active? What do you eat? Your wow. environment. Are you always living in an enclosed environment? Are you always, always eating um, a, are you always eating processed mm -hmm. food? Mm -hmm. How much do you eat all these fresh things? So if you are able to plan all of this, it will, it will fit your pocket. Yes. yes. Because you know wow. why? At the long run, you are saving costs. Mm -hmm. One, the way you cook. Now, because you are cooking, it means that you reduce the amount of the amount of pills you'll be buying to go to the hospitals. Yeah. You get your thinking now will be fast. You think better. Mm -hmm. You are the length of time you're cooking, so you're using less gas. Thank you, because we cook with lower heat. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. I've literally taught a lot of our clients, even their chefs, on how to use... You know, kitchen management is another... Yeah, another wow. Yes, kitchen, kitchen management is another aspect. Food management, no, how not to waste food and how to turn the waste so to become another food. So this just encycles our whole life. Yes, yeah. Yeah. it does. Mm. The truth is, everybody is looking for ways to make money. So yeah. nobody is ready to tell you the, the, the yeah, fact. So right. everybody come up with one thing or another for the moment to make money. But the right. truth is, over time, you will just get tired and go back to that same lifestyle. Yeah. I can okay. give you the best cookware to use now, the best food to use. How would you go about making it healthy? You still mess up. Mm. So that means we still need people that can still do what? The last mile, for whatever anybody says, if they can't show you the food, they can't make the meals, what's the point? Just yeah. the point. What's okay. the point? Stop telling we, me about... So we all should be chefs somehow, somehow. See, the kitchenette, what, kitchenette is in the mind. that You can be, you can be here and I can start kitchen, start right, cooking yeah. here. It's a kitchenette. Kitchenette means a little place, a little cabin where you can make something. Mm -hmm. So what it means that the moment you are conscious, do you know that I can literally do a smoothie for you and trust me, your cravings will just become minimal. I need to see you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have like two okay. minutes uh, left. Right, no. Meditation. Uh, they, they, yeah, there's something I want to... Yeah. You, you just hit it. Okay. On the, you hit the nail on the head because you know we're looking at our psyche, our mm. mental health, our mindset. Yeah. You know? There are times when people tell me that meditation yeah. is very important. Yeah. You know, and plays a key role in wellness. wellness. Could you just say in a few minutes? Yeah. Yeah. One or two minutes? One Could you minute. just one minute? Mm. Could you just tell us what role meditation plays? The word meditation is just a realization state of mind where. You, t you think less about whatever has been your worries. Okay. You, know, you your focus. Mind, yes, you focus. Mm. So it's self-healing. It's self-healing. Self -healing. So how that makes sense is because you take out... Because most times, all the things we have around us, or all the thing, everything we think about, mm. is one of even the major reasons why some of these yeah, things even become so much. Oh, so the reason why meditation is good is because it helps you to even connect your creator because part of awareness is also mm. spiritual. Wow. Yeah. So it's a spiritual healing. So it's, you have to be very sensitive spiritually too if you want to be well. Yeah. So that anywhere you move to, you are sensitive. Mm. So because you are eating, so basically it's like having a natural thing, which is nature, which is God giving. Mm. And you're still trying to also still connect to your creator. Yeah. Mm. You feel relaxed. So you are healing. Okay. Okay. And <laughs> meditation work also with fasting. Okay. Okay. You, you have thrown in a l couple of tips here and there, yeah. you know, when we're looking at the pocket and the budget yeah. and wellness and nutrition. Yes. Um, perhaps somebody just joined the show yeah. like a minute or two ago and really hasn't gotten the knack of what we've been talking about. Okay. Use a minute or a minute and a half, yeah. you know, to do a summary that would get that person to pick. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Um, what it is is that when you want to be well, you have to stay a very good lifestyle. Like staying a good lifestyle mm. is what are the things you do that will not threaten yourself. Mm. So how do you run a SWOT analysis is how well do you sleep? Mm -hmm. How well do you eat? Mm -hmm. How well do you exercise? Physical exercise does not need to, until when you hit the gym, you can do some stuff within your space. Yeah. Then how well do you love? Wow. So these four things should always be part of our lifestyle. So that way, it helps us to understand that, okay, if I'm well, I've eaten well, I've exercised, I can love, i slept well. Your mindset, you'll be more productive. Mm -hmm. You see, a lot of the leaders we have today, they are tense because they don't sleep well, they don't eat well, they don't even exercise well. So even their thought process, because if you see a lot of presidents that think, their thought process, they take their time. These are people that are very, in fact, they are detailed to understand that wellness, in fact, being a leader, you have to just be well. Mm. So what it is is that we're saying is that for you to have such, it has to be something you have to incorporate as a lifestyle. Mm. 
And if you don't have such person, you need you cannot live such lifestyle now. You need somebody to guide you. Yeah. They don't need to be a shrink. In fact, they don't even need to bug you much, but they need to just come out and explain to you how because wow. until you get used to this system, you will just get tired of paying because you'll be feeling like this is getting me frustrated because there's every, you eat every day of your life. So that means you keep paying. Yeah. So why not just understand some of these things, the rudiments of how mm. to get things done? So it becomes so you can do it yourself. Yes, do it it's yourself. A summary, yeah? yeah, it's a summary. It's a summary. Oh, you have another question? No, he's giving He's giving a summary. Giving a summary. <laughs> yes. Because I can yes. feel his passion. Yes. You know, yes. I can feel because it. I lost I really my love. mom. I lost my mom to yeah. the cold blood of high blood pressure. She's she's also you know she woke up in the morning and she wants to use herself and lo and behold, my dad waited for her for some you know for some mm. hours and yeah. got there. She's passed on. Yeah, you know, my final year in school, yeah, and my I pastor was preaching the, and my pastor slumped passion. and died after a couple of days. So I've worked in the hospitals, yeah. I've done a lot of program with ph pharmaceutical companies. I've done outreaches and all that. I've done. I've, in fact, the truth is, I have to be very sincere. Why I'm passionate is because a lot of people just want too much of scientific grammars. You need to speak these jargons to be able to get them to understand that their body is important. Because mm -hmm. else, if you don't take care of yourself now, the, body the truth is, is important. even the medical people. Yeah, they need nutrition it. because they didn't study nutrients. Yeah. They didn't study nutrition. Good. So mm -hmm. they just did medicine. So they see needles. So trust me, very soon. Nutritionists will become the doctor of our time. Mm. You see, I came up because I'm like, okay, we probably need to do more yes. on this subject matter. Yes. Yeah? Yes. So All right. I'll, be very low, I'll be very glad and happy to show us some of these things okay. in one of your segments. Please. All right, so that now we know that eating healthy and achieving wellness on a budget is possible. Yeah. So... All of the excuses, we must throw them out. No time is expensive and all of that. We're not disciplined. You can get in there and just change your lifestyle. Thank you. I was going to call you a doctor. <laughs> chef. <laughs> yeah, chef. Master chef. Because I still, chef. everything I say, I still go back to the kitchen. Trust yeah. me. I make these meals. Yeah. I make these meals. Great. Okay. I make these so meals. Thank you. It's all about consistency <laughs> yeah. and uh, being intentional. Yeah. Wellness on a budget, we've been told, doesn't have to be opposites or enemies. We can achieve both. Yeah. We are grateful for your time. Thank doctor, you. Sorry, not doctor. <laughs> <laughs> so much, All right. So much, I'm salivating you. already. I, I, can, I can't wait for that no meal. Problem, no All problem. Right? We're going to have it. All right. All right. Thank you again. Thank you. Now, the family must strive in excellent health and wellness. So off we go. He talked about exercises. And so the next segment of this show is the Keep Fit segment. And Dolly, I believe, is waiting for us. Yeah. <sighs>